It's time to be creative in 3D and virtual reality, VR. It's time for Unity. So in the last video, we created this, it's raining shapes, where you have a bunch of different 3D objects and they fall down on this plane. And if we press play, this is what happens. And you see, since all these have rigid bodies and colliders, they are going to roll and you can see these will fall off. Well, in this video, we want to make a box. We want to make a box that looks like this. So at the bottom, you can see we have a plane, then we have four cubes and you can see that right here in this area. So let's go ahead and do that. I have this plane here. Well, I'm going to right click. I'm going to do create empty. On the right side over here in my inspector, I'm going to call it box. So this is my empty 3D object. I'm going to get my plane and put it inside of my box. And now I need to make the edges. So those are just going to be cubes that I actually manipulate with the scale. I'm going to right click 3D object and I'm going to do cube and I'm going to pull that cube all the way down to my box. And you can see my, my plane is a little bit off here. I'm going to recenter this. So you can see that's my plane. This is where that is. I'm going to move my plane down my box over and back to where it was. So my plane is now a part of the box. So make sure when you have an object, a 3D object, you're moving the parent. So my box is my parent and the plane is a part of that. So that's why I made the position X, Y, and Z zero. And my cube, I'm gonna make my X, Y, and Z zero as well. And you can see now it's in the center of that. So again, you want the objects that are children of this little 3D object, and you can see this here, should always be centered where it is. All right, so here's my box. Now I'm going to pull this up and let's see how we're going to be here. And what you can notice is you can kind of estimate how high I need to go up. So 0.52 is probably 0 0.5 is a perfect fit on top of here. Now I want to make this smaller. So I'm going to select my scale tool that is right up here. You can see if you mouse over it, it'll tell you. And I'm gonna make this skinnier this way. So let's say again, as I drag it, you can see this number, this Z number, because this is blue, and that is the Z direction. This can get bigger or smaller. So I can also just type it in, I'm gonna do 0 0.5. Now, I also wanna scale it the length of this. So I can drag it this way. I already know what the number is going to be, but just showing you, I can drag it, drag it, drag it. This is actually going to be 10. So if you look on this side, that's right at the edge. And if I look on this side, that is right at the edge. So there I have one side of my wall, which is just a simple cube. I'm gonna click on my move tool and then I'm gonna drag this over here and you can see as I'm dragging it, watch this value right here, it's going to change. And I also can just type in a value. So I'm going negative, negative, negative. This value is actually going to be negative five. And if I do that, you can see it's perfectly on the edge. Now, to duplicate this wall, what I can do is right click and select duplicate. Now I have another cube. You can't see it because it's right underneath here. But if I pull this out, I can go to the other side. So this is zero. This is negative five. So what do you think this other side will be? Well, the other side is actually five. So now we have two edges of our walls. Now, what do you think we need to do for this? 
you can duplicate again. So I could right click and duplicate or on your keyboard you can do Control and D on a Windows or Command and D on a Mac. And now this is duplicated. So you can see I can pull this one out. Well, how am I gonna get it facing this way? Hmm. Well, if you think about it, here are our tools up here. There's a rotate tool. So I want to rotate this way. I'm gonna drag the green and rotate it. And you can see the Y, if you watch this area here, as I drag it, it will change. Well, I know I want it to be a perfect negative 90 degrees. So now I'm just going to pull this in the middle and pull this towards me. And again, I know this is 0.5 and my X should be five, which is perfectly at the edge. Kind of leaves a, a little divot there, which I might not like, so I'll probably just make it level. That way it looks more like a box. So now that I have this cube, I can right click and do duplicate, and I will pull this on this side. And again, if this is right there, it's gonna be the opposite number. I could have just did that, but I'm gonna eyeball it, let's say there. So now I have this box that I made from a plane and four cubes that I use the tools to manipulate. So the reason we put all these inside of this empty game object that we renamed box is because now this is one object. If I select my move tool, this box moves together. If I rotate it, you can see it moves together. Even if I scaled it, it will all scale together. So whenever you want to create an object, you will right click, you will make an empty object, call it whatever you want to call it, whatever that is, for example, box. Then you can use the shapes inside of there and they will all be grouped together. That way they will stay together in the hierarchy. These, these children of this will always stay together. So now we've learned how to do materials. Well, let's say I wanted to have like a wood grain effect. I could download something from Unity, but let me show you how to just simply use the web to do this. So for example, I'm gonna to go to Google Images and I'm gonna say wood texture. And let's say I want two different wood textures. So I like this here. I'm just going, I could save this entire thing or I can just grab a snipping of it, but I'm just gonna right click. I would, let's see that image in a new tab. So that's the image. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And let's say I want another image for the inside. So maybe I like this. And let's say I didn't want this big picture is 2000 by 2000. Well, I can simply use the snipping tool. If you're on Windows, do a search for snipping tool to grab a screenshot. Or if you're on a Mac, select Control, Shift, and five. This little window will pop open and you're able to select what you want. So maybe I just want that. So now I want to make maybe the darker on the outside and the light on the inside. Well, what am I going to do? I'm just going to right click. I'm going to do import new asset. I'm going to go to that location that I just saved those wood files. So here's my screenshot that I just did. I'm just going to import it and let's rename it. This is wood texture light. And I'm going to import this darker one and I'm going to rename it wood texture dark. So these are just images. But if I drag this onto a 3D object, it's going to make a material for me. So for example, you can see if I drag the dark to this, look what happens. It makes this folder and it makes this wood texture for me. So now I can simply, I can drag either this, this little simple wood texture onto these. I'm gonna go back here to my materials folder and I have the light one, instead of having that green, let's drag that in the middle. And there you go. So let's try to play this and let's see, make sure that all of our shapes are falling into our box and none are falling off the side. So I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so we can really see. And one common mistake, most people that start to use Unity is you have the scene view and you have the game view. The game view is the camera. So you're not able to click on these things and move stuff around. So if you ever think, well, how come I can't move this thing? Make sure you're always in the scene view. Now you can actually select things. So when I'm gonna press play, and this one is a little close, probably wanna move that one. So this one guy right here, he, he didn't roll off, but just to be sure, let's move him a little bit over here. And now let's see if we press play, 
there you go. I have everything kind of in my box. Now I just want to change my camera so I can kind of see better. So I'm gonna click on the camera. The camera is right here. So I'm seeing straight on, but I wanna pull it up. And then you can also, the camera is just a game object. So I'm gonna use my rotate tool. And I'm gonna kind of angle it down like that to kind of give a overlowing view. So again, I can, I can modify any game object you can modify. So I'm gonna let it go down like that. And then I'll go back to my move tool and maybe go up closer, maybe go up some more and rotate it down. So now let's try what it looks like when I press play. So I kind of like that. 